Oh, we're really out there on YouTube. This is for you guys. And in my last video, I showed you these things I made. I showed you this cookie I made, this um, diamond, this pork chop, and this piece in this cookie. And a lot of people asked, you know, how did you make those? They said, please make a tutorial. So I'm coming back. I'm making a tutorial, a tutorial, and it's gonna be great. So yeah, guys, enjoy the tutorial. Let's get started. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need to start this project. Now what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a box cutter. Very sharp cuts things. Um, you don't necessarily need a box cutter, but it's recommended because it's in the same. It cuts boxes. And what are boxes made out of? Cardboard. And what are you gonna be making these things out of? Cardboard. So yeah. Very sharp. Do not cut yourself. I am not responsible for your injuries. You're gonna need a glue stick. A stick of glue that for um you know stuff. For gluing stuff. Um I need a piece of cardboard such as this one. As you can see, I've been cutting stuff out of it. I open it up. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, that was weird. And uh, you need a printer for uh, printing out the images. And lastly, a CFED, just to look cool. So yeah, let's head on over to the computer, and I'll show you what you need to do there. Okay, so let's get started with the... Uh, with the picture and the download of the picture. So at the, at the start of making your item, you need to download the picture of what you want to of what you want to make. Now I don't have a color printer in my house, so I have to do black and white. So I'm going to do a iron ingot, which is all white, so that kind of works. And um, if you're wondering how I did the color things, I went to Kinkos and I um, I um, I went to Kinkos and I printed them there because they have a color printer at Kinko's and it only costs about eleven dollars for everything. So I'm gonna do iron ingot. Okay, I'm gonna go to images. Oh that looks good. Take the iron ingot. Uh save image as uh saying save it as that. So, okay, it's fine and okay. Now after it downloads if I can move my mouse correctly, go to show in folder. Right click it and go to open with and select your favorite uh, photo editor. My favorite is paint.net. Um, I recommend doing downloading it so you can follow along with me. So after you download uh, the ingot and you have it in paint.net, uh, zoom in on it, go to image, resize, and do by inches and make sure you select nearest neighbor right here because if you do any of these others, once you resize it, it'll be blurry, but this will make it um, this will make it, what's the word, clear, pixelated. Okay. Now go, uh, click on inches and make it eight inches by eight inches. Okay. It's resizing. There it goes. Now it's eight by eight inches. Now you just print it. So, yeah, I'll be back. Um, just gonna switch to the live view here so I can show you what to do after you print the image. Okay, now that you have the um, picture printed out on paper, um, I actually uh, recorded before this and I got interrupted by a phone call, so um, I already glued this on here, but once you, once you have it printed out on paper like this, you're going to put some glue on the back like this, put some glue on the cardboard like this, and then you, um, you place it and you flatten it out nice and good on the cardboard like this. Uh, I accidentally did that upside down for you. Whatever. Just ignore it. So once you have it on paper, like that, you need to get out your extremely sharp knife, or exacto knife or box cutter. Uh, it's just a box cutter. will work fine. What Now, what most people might want to do is go down to the side, down to the side, down to the side, down to the side, down to the side. But, um... I can't do that because, uh, well, I can do that, but it's a very hard way to do it. But what I usually like to do with this is, is I is I do everything on the x-axis. I go down, down, all the down, just like this, with the box cutter, all the down edges. And then I turn the cardboard around and then do all the side edges, like this. It's just a much faster way to do that. And I'm This camcorder can only record for five minutes for each clip. So I'm gonna record as much of me cutting it as I can 
uh, just to give you guys an example, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So, I'm gonna speed this up here. And make sure you have something under that, um, the original piece of cardboard so you don't end up cutting something under. Okay, so when you're done cutting it, which I am, what you want to do is you want to take it and pop, just pop it out. Like, uh, I don't know, like something that pop, pops out. <laughs> so, um, just gonna, just don't force it too much or you might rip something. Like, you can see here, it might rip, so I've got to be careful around there. Just keep pushing until... There, oh, it is there. Let's get it out. Ah, and I'm not 100% happy with how this one turned out, but yeah, there you have it a Minecraft iron ingot. So, yeah, that's um, it. You have your Minecraft iron ingot. Um, but let's just uh, skip on forward and we're gonna go on to uh, how to make the Steve head. So yeah, let's go on over to the computer. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go to the, um, we're gonna go to the Minecraft head, uh, the, the Steve head part of the tutorial, sorry. Missed a little bit. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to Minecraft Wiki and search for skin, okay, skin. And then you need to, uh, should take you to this page and you click on this, click on this, save image as, save it as whatever you want and then you need to uh open it uh, right click open with paint.net okay now once you open it in paint.net you need to zoom in uh select his face press ctrl c okay and you press ctrl n and create a new document i mean a new photo project thing and make it eight inches by eight inches and press okay Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Make it 10 inches by 10 inches. What do you mean you make it 10 by 10? Okay. And then you press Control V. It's very tiny, but it's there. And you need to expand it and make sure this is on pixelated instead of smooth. And then you drag it out like that until it reaches the edges and then you just then you just have to do that and keep keep creating new documents for each side of his face and uh, do that for all the sides of his face and then once you do that for all the sides of his face um, put them all onto a USB drive all the ones you save so once you do that just press control shift s or just go to file save as and then name it Steve one I guess and then you need to save them on a thumb drive and go to Walgreens or Kinko's or one of those places that prints for you and then uh, tell them to um, print print the Steve heads on a on a 10 by 15 sheet of paper or an 11 by 15 sheet of paper because um, most home printers can't take that size of paper so you can't really do the Steve head at home but if you're willing to pay a couple, a, little, a couple extra bucks to go to a business for them to print it for you, then yeah, that's what you're going to have to do for the Steve head. So let's go on to the next part, showing what you do after you print it. So yeah, after you get the uh, different faces printed out, I couldn't print them again at home because I don't have a color printer to do so, 
and I don't have the big enough pieces of paper to do so, so that's why I said you have to go to Kinko's or something, or Walgreens and print them out for, let them print them out for you unless you have an oversized paper printer that's color, so. After you print them out, you just cut them out till it's just nothing but the face, and then it's, I don't really have to demonstrate for you because it's so easy, just glue each face on the side of a 10 by 10 box. Go to a UPS store or something and buy a box that is 10 by 10 and then um, cut off the bottom flaps and then cut off cut off two of the flaps up top and then just fold the two flaps that are left down and tape it to where it's um, closed. And then it's just as simple as gluing all the pieces on and I haven't finished this side yet because of the mistake I told you in the last part. So yeah, and you just, you might want to put some tape around here, around the edges, and then there you have it. You have yourself a Steve head. So yeah, guys, that's the tutorial. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you. Wait, well, actually, you have to cut out the eyes, too, just to let you know. So you, you won't be able to see. So yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Later.